Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how you can make a custom panorama like I have running in the background right here. There's my main base beginning to show up over here on the right hand side. Easy project, just takes a few steps. Now I also have, of course, a custom title up here and custom button colors. I'll put links for those in the description if you want to find out how I did all that stuff. Right now we're just looking at this custom panorama in the background. Okay, switch over to the desktop and start this project. Here we go. Now the first thing you need is a place to build your new pack. I just made a new folder here on my hard drive. I called it pack. It's on my C drive right there. Just a blank folder. And then inside here, you need a couple of files. One is a pack PNG. You can use the default one if you want to, or if you don't include one, you'll get a kind of a gray dirt block. But it's real easy. It's just a square picture, 128 by 128 pixels. You can go 256 by 256 if you want to for more detail. That's all it is, just a square picture named pack.png. Very important to have that .png on there. If you don't see that .png or .mcmeta, this extension, then go up here to the view menu, come down to show and check find them extensions. I'm in Windows 11 right now. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top area there, click on the view tab and put a check next to find them extensions and you'll be all set. Okay, so that's pretty easy. If you want to know how I did this custom look here, I'll put a link for that video in the description. We also need a pack.mc meta file and you can download this from my website. Let me bring that up. And this right here, I'll put this link also in the description. If you want to type your own in, there's what it is. But you can just download. And here's the current one, pack format 22. And that's for 120.3 and 120.4. It's going to be changing again as soon as 120.5 comes out. So this is just until the end of 120.4. Simply click on this and then download into your working folder. Choose save. And that's all set to go. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And here's that saved file. I'll just delete this one. Right click on this and I'll open this in a new window. Just makes it easier. Just drag it over here. There we go. And then delete these things. You don't need that. And you also don't need that. I'll hit the delete key. And here's the pack MC meta. Now I edit these things in Notepad++. It's free. It's a very good editor for stuff in Minecraft. Bring this up. There's the correct format for 120.4. If you're using a different version of Minecraft, go back to my website and I have packs for all of the versions listed right there. Just download the right pack. And I'll change what this says up here. I'm just going to change it to panorama. So I have custom panorama. And just so I don't forget, I'll make it 120.4. And then save. That's all set to go. We now need to put our folders in. And for that, let's go up here to new. Come down to folder. In this folder, assets. Go inside this folder. Another folder in here. This one is Minecraft. Go inside of this one. New folder. This one is textures. Inside of this one, new folder, and this is GUI. Inside of that, new folder, title. Inside of that, one last folder, and this is background. And that's all our folders that we need. We'll be taking some screenshots, and they'll be going inside of this background folder right here. Okay, it's back out of here, back to our working folder right there. Okay, this is all set to go. We now need to get our screenshots out of the game. So I'll bring up Minecraft right now. Okay, here we are back inside of Minecraft at the title screen. And there are two settings to take care of first right now, and that's in options. Now, there are a couple things that can cause distortions and cause overlap problems on these images. Let's fix that right now. Go into options, go into video settings, and scroll down to the bottom down here. And on distortion effects, set that to zero. And FOV effects, set that to zero. That should help take care of any little problems with bad overlaps, bad seams showing up. Choose done, done again. Let's now go in and choose our spot for our pictures. Go into single player, and I'll go to my cherry base up here. Let's play that world. Let this go ahead and load in. And there's my cherry base right up there. Now I want to be just a little ways off. I want to see that corner on that base. I don't want to be in front of that base. So in other words, I don't want to be right here looking flat on this, kind of boring. Just want to be off to the side a little ways. Like that nice angle on that. So I'm looking down this way and I see an angle on that. See two sides. Okay, I'm also kind of down in a hole down here. Now, normally, if you're in creative mode, and I'm in creative mode with cheats on, that makes this a lot easier. Double hit the space bar, and then I'd fly like this, get a nice height on that, and that's a better view. But this can cause some distortion problems. So you don't want to do that. Let's just get back down onto the ground. It's better instead to pillar up. And I'll grab some stone right here. And this just pillar up. See where I'm at. That looks pretty good. So I'm standing on a pillar. Don't worry, you won't see that in the panorama. So you can go ahead, pillar up, 
and you'll be perfectly fine on that. Gives you a nice view and that's off the screen as you can see in here. So we're not gonna be seeing that. Now we'll be using two different keyboard shortcuts in here. One is the F1 key that shows and hides all that stuff down there. And the cursor in there, the crossbar, get all that hidden out. And also the F2 key, which takes screenshots. Let's go ahead and I'll do that one here. It's F2 key, there's our screenshot. So we'll be using those two keys. Now I hear a lot of discussion on YouTube on the right FOV to use for doing this. I hear 96, 91, 87, 86. All of those are wrong. There is only one number to use to make this work correctly. And when you see those numbers, that means that they have not gotten rid of their distortions and they've not gotten rid of their FOV effects and they're in flying mode. That's where they're getting distortions. That's where they're trying to adjust things. If you turn those settings off, which we've already done, then this is gonna be exact. Now we're looking straight up here. If I go clear around like this, all the way around and back again, that's a rotation of 360 degrees exactly. We need four shots for this. Going to each of the cardinal points in you know, north, south, east, and west. 360 divided by four is 90, exactly. It doesn't change ever. It's always 90 degrees. That's our FOV. Nothing else will work properly. Okay, now we need to have our FOV in the right spot. We need to be looking the right direction. And we can do that with just a little code in here. We'll do a teleport, and we'll teleport to the exact spot that we need. Now our first shot's gonna be over here someplace, and next one's around about here, and next one's over here, and next one's over here. And we'll have one for the sky, like that, and one for the ground. Don't worry about that pillar, you're not gonna see that. But we need to have the right size for our screenshots. These have to be square, so you need to change our FOV, our field of view, to a 90 degrees. And we also have to change the image here to a square image. So for that stuff, let's go back to the title page, hit the escape key, back in here, let's go to options. And here's our FOV, the top left. Pull this over here until you get 90. Again, it has to be exactly 90. Choose done, that's good. Now we need to go back to the launcher, save and quit. There we are, let's go into installations. We're playing this one right here. Go to those three dots right there, click on that and click on edit. We can now change the resolution of that particular shot. Now the resolution that you need in here depends upon the size of your screen. You want this thing to fit inside of your screen area. You don't want it bleeding beyond the edges. So you need to know your screen area. So I'll go out here on the desktop, right click and display settings. I set my kind of normal here, it's kind of a normal size. Display resolution, I'm at 1920 by 1080. That's a good size. Now the smallest one here, the 1080, I need to have my window smaller than that. So I'm gonna do 1024 and that'll fit inside of this window here, inside of our screen. So the resolution will be 1024, it has to be square. So 1024, that's what you want and choose save. Let's now go back and play the game again. And this time it's gonna be coming in in a window and that's what you want. So I'll play, let this load up the Minecraft game here. There's our square image. And we're now ready to take our screenshots. The reason why it's square is that we're basically building a box. And our viewpoint is from inside the box, four sides, top and bottom. So it makes a square. And then Minecraft kind of distorts those corners so you get that nice panorama. Okay, let's go inside of single player. Back to our cherry base up here and play sector world. Let this load in. There we go, we're standing on our pillar, that's fine. And we now need to set up the correct point of view. I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff at the bottom here, hit the F1 key, clean that out. And again, I'm in creative mode with cheats on. And then let's do a forward slash and TP and a space. And this is at player, at P, space. And then we need three tildes with spaces in between. And that's the key to the left side of the one key. So shift, hit that key, space, space, and there's our three tildes, a space, and then zero and zero. The left number is our rotation around. The right number is looking up or looking down. So our first ones will be changing our rotation. Hit the enter key, and we're now looking at rotation zero, zero. And that's our first position. Hit that F2 key for a screenshot, and that's now done. I'll hit the F1 key, see right there, screenshot saved. Okay, to our next rotation, I see forward slash TP and space, and then at P for at player, our three tildes, it's a shift tilde space, shift tilde space, shift tilde space. This time the first one is 90, second one is zero, hit the enter key. There's our shot with the house, F2 key, there's our screenshot. Okay, next one, forward slash TP, space, at player, space, and then our tildes in here, don't forget the spaces between those. This one is 180, a space and zero. 
F2 for our screenshot. Our next one, forward slash TP space, at P for player, space our three tildes. And this one is 270, and a space, and zero. And that's our last view, F2 key. Here's our screenshot. Okay, we now need to get the sky and the ground. Sky comes first, and that's forward slash TP, space, at player, like that, our three tildes. There we go. And this one begins with a zero, the zero rotation, a space, and the negative 90, and that's straight up to the sky. F2 key, we've got that one. Our last one, a space, TP, space, at the player, space, our three tildes. There we go. And then this one is zero and a 90. Enter, there it is, F2 key for screenshot. And don't worry about that pillar, you're not gonna see that in the final panorama. Okay, so just go ahead and get our normal view back again here. There we go, there's the house. We now have all six of our screenshots. We can exit back out to the title screen. And let's get things set back the way they should be. Back to options, back to video settings. Let's set this back to distortion effects clear up and FOV effects clear up. We're done here. Back to where it says FOV, bring that back until it says normal, which is right there. It's actually about 70. And choose done. That's all done. Save and quit to title. Quit game. Let's go back in here, back to those three dots, back to edit. And then we're going to set this to auto. There we go. They will say auto again and choose save. And everything is now back to the way it was. So that's all set to go. We don't need to find those screenshots. And if I go over here to latest release, Click on that folder icon right here. This takes you into the Minecraft folder. And if we scroll down here a little ways, you're going to find screenshots right there. Let's bring this up. It's a lot of screenshots I've taken in the past. The newest ones will be at the bottom. And that's this set right here. Here's our first one, second, third, fourth, sky, and the ground. So here's the screenshots. We bring them back to the other folder. There's my working folder right here. I'll take all of these, just hold the shift key down, select all those. Notice right drag them over here and copy. Just want to go back to those in the future. Just have those saved. Let's now take this back where it says Minecraft and go into resource packs and just leave it sitting here for right now. Just minimize that. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Okay, we need to get these inside of the right folder. You either just copy these and paste them in. You know, right click and copy. Easy way to do it. Go all the way inside here. Title, background, right here, right click and paste. Or you can drag and drop them into here. Whatever you like, it's up to you. Now these have to be a specific name to work. And the first one here, let's click into this, or you can click in here, right click, and then choose rename from the list. This is Windows 11, that rename is hiding under show more options, and it's way down there, rename. Or just do what I do, just click in once, wait a beat, click in a second time, and we can now rename this. Now this is panorama underscore zero. If you want to, you can just copy that. Right click, copy, this makes it a bit faster. Next in here, click once. Wait a beat, click a second time, there we go. Right click and paste and change that to a one. Or a third one here, click once, click a second time. Right click, paste, change the zero to a two. Go over here, click a second time, right click, paste, change that to a three. Over here, click again, right click, paste, change that to a four. And our final one, click again, right click and paste, and then change that one to a five. There's our five images for our panorama, and that's all set to go. So now back up here, back to our pack folder. You no longer need these. If you don't want to have those, you can just toss those out. All we care about right now are these three things. We've already taken care of our pack MC Meta, so that's good. Click on Assets, hold the Control key down, click on Pack MC Meta and the Pack PNG. So select those three files, right click. I'm going to compress to zip. Call it custom panorama, and I'll do 120.4 so I don't get lost on that one. And here is our resource pack. Now, if you're inside of Windows 10, I'm in Windows 11, so I did a right click. If you're in Windows 10, you can do a right click or go up to the top up there, click on the share tab, and you'll find the zip button right there. Aside from that, same thing. Let's now get this inside the game, and that's why we kept that other folder open. I'll bring that back up again. That's right here. Let's just take this. I'll drag and drop it over here. That's one that I have showing right now. Here's our new one. Go ahead and we'll change over to this. Okay, get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Let's go back to our game, click on play. Let this load up. It'll come back fitting properly again because we've made that adjustment. And I'll go full screen on that. Here we go back into options, resource packs, 
Here's our new pack over here. Bring that over. I'll take out the one that we had there before. Just get that out of the way. There's the new pack. Choose done. Choose done again. And there's our new panorama. Let's go ahead and let this bring the building in over there. Right hand side. There we go. And that's all looking perfect. Same basic thing will work for all versions of Minecraft, at least all recent versions. You just need to change that pack format inside of the pack.mc meta to be the correct pack format. Don't forget to hit that like button. Click on subscribe if you haven't already done so. I do new videos all the time on customizing Minecraft. And I'll see you next time.